Welcome back to Pro Photo Insights, and uh, there's a new feature we're doing called Snapshots, and it's basically uh, very short videos, um, as short as I can make them. Uh, normally, mine go on a bit, but uh, short, short videos on um, any software that we come across, which we think is uh, really good, or books, or anything like that. Today, I'm going to look at a piece of software called Photo Acute Studio, which I came across a couple of weeks ago, and it does many things, and I'll take you through that when we go back into the studio, uh, the full capabilities of it. But it does HDI just focus stack in but the thing that really impressed me which is why I bought the software was it also claims it can um, increase the resolution from your camera now the way it does that uh, I don't know the technical way it does it but the way we uh, you go about shooting it is we're going to shoot today this tree in the background and basically I'm just going to take several exposures I'm not going to bridge the exposures or alter the exposure anyway I'm just going to take straight exposure shots but take four or five or six images and we're when we get back to the studio we'll put it into the software and it will actually combine those images and give us um, a higher resolution file from those pictures you could bridge the expose if you want to do a hdi it will also do hdr it'll also if you've got people moving in shot it'll also uh, clone out automatically some of those things uh, that are moving in shot um, uh, but we're not going to concentrate on that this is just a very brief video and i want to show you mainly about the resolution which is the thing that really impressed me about it so uh, we'll go ahead we're going to go shoot this tree as i said we've got some lovely light coming in and uh, we've got some lovely texture um, on the tree which we're picking up so uh, we'll uh, give this a go and uh, we'll have a look at what it can produce Welcome back, uh, we have Bridge open here, Adobe Bridge, and here's the uh, images I shot, the six and all, and I'm going to select all of those, these are raw files, and I'm simply going to select them all and drag them into Photo Cute. so I've got Photo Cute open here, so drag them straight into there, and uh, Photo Cute is now going to load those uh, images, and uh, it'll take uh, take a little while, there's quite large, uh, large uh, file sizes, so uh, take a little while, so we'll come back to that in uh, a couple of seconds. Okay, so Photo Acute's now loaded our six images, we need to tick all these on the side here, take a bit of time to catch up. And then what we need to do, uh, these, let's say we haven't bridged the exposure on these, but if you had bridged the exposure, you'd need to pick out your base image, uh, which is the, probably the best exposed one with most detail. I'm going to just pick out number uh, 8 here, which is my first image, and uh, use that as my base. And then going to press start. Now, you, you've got um, your settings here. You've got to put your camera and lens combination in for this to work properly. Uh, unfortunately, the, there isn't a, uh, under the Canon 1D, the S Mark II uh, camera listing, there's not a 28 to 70 mm uh, Canon L series lens listed for some reason. So I've used the next best thing, which would be the Canon 5D, which is also a full frame camera. And uh, we're using that as, as a basis uh, to process the images. I do understand though from uh, talking to the developers that uh, if you have got a lens and camera combination that's not listed, you can uh, I think email and contact them and I believe they will develop you a profile for that. So anyway, so that's uh, that's this little bit about the setup. We're going to go press start now ignore that and again we've got a few of the settings here there's um, the, as I said earlier the, the photo acute studio does several different things uh, f uh, and uh, but I'm just going to concentrate on this super resolution processing which is this one here uh, we're not using any HDR on this image uh, we want combined uh, output with super resolution ticked um, we're going to uh, have no special processing of the scene on this one. Again, there's other options in here, but I haven't got time to go into all those. Uh, but you can download this software and a manual and have a quick read through. There's lots of stuff in it. Um, normal alignment. I'm going to uh, I'm going to cl click the option which says small shifts uh, for tripod. So use a tripod on that one. Uh, mass position set to high. Uh, you've got these other boxes about auto crop. I'm going to un untick all those. And uh, you can fix the colour fringing on this, we can expand the height, um, dynamic range as I mentioned before, you can shoot HDR, 
and uh, also as an option to equalize the equalize the brightness of the images but don't need to worry about those all I need to do now is click OK and that will now uh, get, process the uh, all those pictures into a single file okay so uh, Photoq has processed the image and combined it into a single file and I've output that as a, uh, a Adobe DNG raw file and I've just opened that up in camera raw now you'll notice at the bottom here uh, uh, Photoshop is telling me that this is uh, this image is from a 65 megapixel camera or 66 megapixel camera I should say which of course it's not and now I'm not going to uh, sit here and tell you that this is going to be as good as a, a file from a, a medium format digital uh, back because um, it probably won't be be, but uh, it shows you the the increase. I mean, my normal files are 17 megapixel from the One DS Mark II, or 16.7 to be exact. So it's quite an increase here. And um, the, a raw file from the um, from the One DS Mark II is normally around uh, 4,992 high, whereas here it's uh, 9,984 high. So it's quite a big difference uh, in size. Okay, so I've opened up the uh, super resolution picture in uh, in Photoshop, a hundred percent, and this is our uh, this side contains our uh, straight raw image. So you can see the difference. There's both viewed exactly the same, a hundred percent. You can see the difference in, in size uh, there. Uh, and bear in mind, these haven't been sharpened or anything like that yet. Um, they've still got to obviously uh, be retouched. Um, but uh, you really going to make the time you're going to see the benefit of this stuff is uh, is really for uh, for large prints. If if you if you want uh, if your camera didn't uh, produce quite enough resolution as you'd like, and you want to do some really big prints and nice prints, then uh, this is where this comes in handy. So let's just close that one. Uh Close on down there, um, and also the the other good benefit of this um, is that you can actually uh, uh, reduce noise in the images uh, quite well. This software, from what I can gather, I haven't really fully explored that to be honest yet. But uh, I said there's quite, just quite a few different things. Um, in fact, if you go onto their website, then you can uh, take a look um, at. Uh, the uh, bullet points here of uh, what it uh, what it does, and uh, also there's some samples, and you can also download the uh, the trial version. Um, so there's a lot of information uh, in there on the website. Um, if you're watching this video on ProphotoInsights.net, then below the video uh, you'll see a couple of links. Now the top link is to download the demo. I'll take you straight to the page. Uh, the other link is if you want to buy the software. Now if, if you use this link. To buy the software, I've secured a 10% discount. So uh, you can't just go on the website and get that. You've got to go to that link. So uh, if you do want to buy it, uh, you'll get 10% off by using that link, uh, which the uh, kind people at uh, Photo Acute allow me to uh, offer you. Um, if you're not watching this on Pro Photo Insights, but on another um, video site, then go to ProphotoInsights.net forward slash acute A-C-U-T-E I'll bring that up on screen in a second and uh, you can get access to those links as well so that's it I hope that's um, just giving you a bit of an idea what this software um, can do that's it I haven't tried out all of it there's a lot more to it so uh, best thing to do is download a sample and uh, trial and uh, give it a whirl anyway until next time take care thanks for watching cheers